All right, it's Friday, and here's my pickups for the day. I spent $125 on everything you see before you, all of this wonderful stuff. Um, it was mostly estate sales today, and then estate sales do not excite me because I go to an estate sale, and they charge me a lot of money for a little bit of stuff. I go to yard sales, I get a lot of stuff for a little bit of money. So um, tomorrow, hopefully, uh, it all kind of depends on the weather. The weather's going to be kind of iffy, and I don't know. You know, it's like, uh, but what did I get for $125? Well, let me just get the video game part out of the way, like one, two, three, boom, there it is. Uh, I go to this estate sale, the guy says, I, I bring up a hat, not even a hat. I bring up a hat that I was going to just stick on my freaking head, right? And uh, two stupid DVDs and this. And I'm like, how much is this? So he's like, well, DVDs uh, are $5 each. So I'm like, okay, I'll just take this because I, at least I can make some money on this. I think this is like a $15 game or something like that. Um, but that's a state sales, man. $5 DVDs. I can't even get $5 DVDs. Goodwills doesn't even sell their stinking DVDs for $5. So I don't know what they're thinking. You know what's going to happen to them at the end of the day? They're going to be stuck with a lot of DVDs. Uh, anyway. Let's just keep going on. So that was it. That's the game. So all you people only like game stuff. That's it. Goodbye. You're out of here. Um, now, it's, this is most likely for you. Look, we paid like $2. And it's uh, Megazord. This is the Samurai. I don't know if it's complete. I don't know if it's in parts. But I, I'm assuming you'll want it. So I just put it to the side. Uh, if you don't want it, let me know. Okay? If, you, if you're... I, no, I got a million of them. You know, I don't want it. It's fine with me. Um... If you want to give me something in trade, great. If you don't, I don't even care. Here's a nice painting. I know I actually was able to figure out who the artist on this. It's a dude named Charles Wendell, and it's Helga Sun. Uh, H-E-L-G-A-S-O-N. Helga Sun. I am not sure where this person came from, but it's just a really kind of neat modernist painting. I'm not really sure what it's made to represent. Uh, maybe it's a bridge. Maybe it's a road. I don't know. You know? But it's kind of cool. It's only 10 bucks, And this could be worth anywhere from like 75 to a couple of hundred. Uh, I have to decide. If it's worth a lot of money, like a couple of hundred, I'd, I guess I'd stick it on eBay. If it's not, I'd stick it to flea market, try and get 30 to 50 bucks. Um, bought these two hats. And then, you know what? I did buy one thing today that should pay for everything, which is always great. I love when that happens. Um, I've been watching other people's uh, videos, and they say this Dare stuff from the 90s sells well. They sell uh, the t-shirts and the hats. I didn't really notice that they cut out the size here, but it is adjustable, so it most likely was one size fits all. It looks to be clean enough. I don't see any like sloppy sweat stains or other weird stains. Um, paid a, I paid a dollar. I don't know what it's going to sell for, but uh, supposedly dare stuff, especially t-shirts and whatever, sells for good money. Here's a hat I'm just going to wear. Kind of nondescript. Uh, not really exciting. I'll do the jewelry, and then I'll do the CDs and the DVDs last. Uh, this is a mystery necklace. I don't know. It's got a really nice look to it, and occasionally we find unmarked gold. That's, that's gold. Uh, this is unmarked in any way, so we just don't know. Um, it's a dolphin design necklace, so it just, it's a freaking mystery. But I like the way the clasp looks, so there. You see that? But there's no marking. Uh, it did not go to a magnet, so that's a good sign. Um, but we'll see. So this is worth anywhere from the three dollars that I paid for it to, if it were gold, over six hundred probably, just because it's heavy as hell. But whatever, that's a total mystery. Uh, this is probably the thing that I bought today that should pay for everything. Uh, One hundred twenty-five dollars is what we spent, and this is just a nice old micro mosaic um, necklace with pendants, you know, on a chain. Um, it says 50, we offered 40, we were buying a few other things, and they were like, yeah, sure, fine, because, you know, they probably didn't think they were going to get the 40 or whatever anyway. Um, but, we've seen similar ones listed at, I don't know, 150 and up, it's about two or so, like that. So, uh, hopefully that'll pay for everything, you know, when we get it listed, and we're just going to list it. It's absolutely pointless to take something like that to the flea market for us. <sighs> Nobody would even... You know, they'll ask about it, but they expect it to be 20 to $40, which is like what we paid or more, uh, actually less. Um, check this out. This is from July 19, 1957, and it's made by the Macaw Indians. It's, uh, it's basically a totem. Oh, bought off. I have no clue what that is. It's just a totem. It's not worth much, but I only paid 50 cents for it, so, you know. 
Uh, I'll just stick it on my showcase. Probably eight bucks or so. All right, let me just go through the CDs and the DVDs I got. Buck a piece on these. Uh, those were dollar six for five. So, best of the '70s, best of the '70s. Roy Orbison, and then these DVDs. Open season. See, I paid a dollar. I'll pay a dollar for this stuff because I'm gonna sell it for like two dollars. I mean, the ins uh, the most I ever sell this stuff is at conventions, and I'm not even going to any conventions. That would be four dollars, three or five. I do not get five dollars for these, and I do not get ten dollars. So I'm not paying five dollars for them anyway. Shrek, Surfs Up, Happily Never After. I decided to just buy like kid movies, you know. Back to the Future, and John Travolta, and Olivia Newton John in Greece. Okay. Uh, this is a lot of cool, uh, probably late 80s, 90s rock and, uh, and other assorted music. So, like I said, this stuff to me is $4, 3 for 10 sometimes as low as $2, as little as 3 for 5 uh, But the kind of stuff I, I like to have, it's, it's good flea market stuff. So let me just go through the titles I got. Rancid, Nirvana, uh, Alice in Chains, Traffic. Foo Fighters, remember all these guys, Violent Femmes, some of these sell easier than others, uh, Peter Gabriel, Soundgarden, Soundgarden, unfortunately we lost the lead singer of Soundgarden this, uh, I think it was last year, Beck, Beck, Pearl Jam, Hole, Celebrity Skin, Mother Love Bone, R.E.M., everybody should at least have one CD by R.E.M., they, they're a great uh, 80s and 90s band, The Clash, sealed with a crack in the case. So <laughs> I'm sure it's not worth anything. Sugar. Sugar is actually a pretty good band if, if you're not familiar with them. Dr. John. He's kind of cool. I think he's, his, he does funk. Uh, Rancid. Nirvana. Let me get... Yeah, I got this big stack in the way. Beck again. These CD cases are dirty. I got to clean them. Eagles. Hotel California. A date with the Smithereens. Smithereens are pretty good. Jesus, Mary, Jesus and Mary Chain. Stoned and dethroned. Uh, pretty good. Cool. Uh, band from say like the late 90s early 2000s sex pistols james brown james brown hole sugar again jane's addiction the figs i'm not really familiar with this band i might listen to him bruce springsteen born to run and uh these are the feelies i'm not familiar with them i might check them out archers of loaf you know what he had a whole stack of these archers of loaf so why not you know i'll listen to him I'll check them out. If they're good, they're good. Foo Fighters, The Smiths. Uh, this is more of like a late 70s band. And of course, the lead singer of that would be Van Morrison. No, not Van Morrison. Van. You know what? I'm having this kind of like mental thing right now, a mental block. I can't remember that. Maybe I'll get back. Uh, Morrissey. Morrissey. That's it. I'm going Van Morrison. Morrissey. Uh, Morrissey is kind of a crooner. Has a really cool voice. Uh, the Replacements. Robert Johnson. Pavement. 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 Peter Gabriel. Elastica. Pavement. Billy Bragg and Wilco. Wilco. Pavement. Hmm. I think this is Grateful Dead. Okay, Dizzy the Less. <sighs> Dizzy Gillespie. I almost got dizzy saying that. Uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Soul. Coughing. Monk. Thelonious, of course. Best of Muddy Waters. Stan Getz. We got a little jazzy. Velvet Underground. That should be... Uh, what's his name? He also passed away this year. Jane's Addiction. Radiohead. Jimmy Buffett. Just another Tequila Sunrise. Is that who it is? Cheeseburger in Paradise. Whatever. Margaritaville, Charlie Parker, Smashing Pumpkins, an excellent 90s and early 2000s band. Green Day, Green Day, UB40, they're like early 80s. I never heard of these guys, but they look, I mean, the cover art's cool. Look how he's like slicing his brain, you know, making some kind of brain sandwich. Uh, free Jazz and the Grifters. Okay, let's, oh, there's the wind. Blowing away my bags. I gotta go get those. Anyway, that's everything I got today. It's Friday. Fridays I don't usually find that much. That's blown away too. Saturday is usually my best day shopping. And I am going to go shopping today. Of course, the weather is not working with me this weekend. So I, my, my plan is, unless the weather does me in, is to go to J.C. Marketplace's uh, Carney Market. So it, uh, Angry Steve 
if you're not sure about whether I'm going to be there, just check in with me, all right? Everybody else, I'll just give you some shout-outs. Uh, let me do Thrift Hunter. I was talking to him last night. Check out his videos. He's really good. Maybe I'll put a little link uh, to one of uh, to his channel here, you know, um, help him out. Maybe a few of my sub subscribers will jump over to his channel. Even though he has way more subscribers than me, why not? Uh, Video Gamer Daryl, Nas of Nostalgic, uh, Blue Bliss Dave, he's new. Um, he's uh, Nas's friend. His videos are very interesting. Uh, AJ, ASAP Zonk, he went shopping today, and he may or may not do anything this weekend. He might be at the JC Market with me in Carney this weekend on Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. Uh, that's coming up. Uh, who else do I want to give a shout-out to? Um, living the Good Life, I'll do. Uh, I already did Angry Steve. Stay angry, Steve. Be true to yourself. Uh, Nevermore Antiques. He's on the top of my mind. I mean, I, there's a lot of guys I watch, you know, that don't really need the shout outs. Like Strap and Pallet, man. I watch him a lot. Um, I've been watching this guy. He's a very soothing voice, very mellow. Um, real nifty thrift, something like that. And everybody else, who cares? Uh, I think I covered everything. Shout outs, whatever. If you want to see where I shopped, what I found, um, I did some undercover thrift hunting videos. Oh, uh, Scummy Resellers. Check out that channel. That's that's a, a share channel I do with my friends where we just have fun with, with like how we find great stuff sometimes. But check out that channel if you want to see my underground live hunting where I just take my phone and I'm like, I'm just filming everything like this and whatever. Also, um, I would give a shout out to this camera, but it, it's freaking annoying. It doesn't work right. Um, I bought this out from China. You know, I all the way from China this came to me. And for some reason it doesn't work uh, right with my software. Like Windows 8, I can't edit it, the program I have. It, it opens in QuickTime, so I don't know. But if you want to see how this, this supposedly 4K uh, and or camera... It's a, an action camera, and it, it actually has a port for a microphone. It's, it's a really cool camera. Um, worked out. I did film one of the scummy uh, resellers. So it's, I did a camera test with it where I talked about like what I bought today. So uh, no shout-out to this camera. And I actually wanted to get it sent back. And, the, and since it came from China, they're like, no, they just said keep it. So I said, you know what, guys? I want one. I want one that works. And I ordered another one. And I had the same issues with it, so I don't know. Naz, check it out. Let me know what you think of this camera. Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll get some, some really good or better stuff or something worth, like, a lot of money, you know, or something that you guys want to buy for me. Come, come and buy for me if I'm there. And if, if you're not sure if I'll be at uh, Kearney this weekend, just check with me, all right? Anyway, uh, goodbye, guys. Goodbye for now.